Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do some coloring today. I've got out the uh, Arteza watercolor set that I have kept in the beautiful case that they sent me. This is the uh, paint splatter uh, pencil case that holds, I believe they say, um, 64 elastic slots in here. Each one of those slots can hold up to three to four colored pencils or watercolor pencils but also can hold up um, hold uh, more like your pens and uh, water brushes and everything else in the slots too so we'll just give you a, a quickie look at these okay it has the nice little um, pockets that open up i've taken some pencils out of here already uh, this is the 120 set and we even have room uh, for more in here <laughs> so i've taken out the pencils i'm going to use what i'm going to i let you know about the 120 set of uh, watercolors that there is a difference between um, some of the colors from the 62 set now i'm gonna let you know what they are I'm just gonna give a, a rundown on what they are so um, the jasmine yellow is an ivory okay that's one uh, anything with an asterisk here is going to be a new one so we've got a cream the sapphire yellow has changed the name I'm not sure which one that one was we've got uh, fluorescent yellow we have a ginger vermilion rust red which is a gorgeous color uh, we have <laughs> Venetian red cherry red Spanish burgundy wine red hazelnut brown which I'm going to be using today a burnt umber raw umber raw sienna earth red salmon pink uh, pink macaroon is just spelled different <laughs> okay a watermelon pink royal purple violet orchid purple uh, sky blue Egyptian blue Persian blue midnight blue deep teal parakeet green uh, spearmint apple green olive jungle green um, there's an onyx black ash black fog gray dolphin stone mushroom steel uh, cloudy is a different name so it's a space gray koala concrete shadow storm unicorn purple these are metallics here unicorn purple silver gold copper and dreamy blue we also have a sea blue and a sapphire blue those are the different colors uh, that you will not find in your 72 set up to you if you decide you need to have those in your collection um, I kind of like them but I mean that's just me <laughs> so we're gonna color this little guy here on the front page we're gonna do a kind of a quick thing I've pulled the colors that are as close to this um, looking glass as I can find and on the front uh, cover over here we have our little octopus and i pulled some colors from this so we're just going to uh, see what we can do here and get this little guy kind of colored the same as the front cover of the book i'm just going to take the pencils and i'm going to just lay them down on the paper directly she's got a little yellow going around the little fluff of curly parts up here these pencils laid right down really smooth and creamy which is something I love about these and they are obviously nice and bright and we're going to put a little um, orange that uh, particular color that I used if you notice on the pens we've got the uh, Arteza the water brush here expert and then the big silver they're octagular so they're not going to roll around which is nice this is a lemon yellow 
you have a light fast rating on here also and the number a004 nice big um, lead on that and like I said, they aren't going to roll around on my desk, which is nice. This one is Blood Orange A073, and it has its light fast rating there. And we're just going to lay this down and get that blended in a little bit. The blood Orange, yep. And kind of go up the arm here, kind of looking at the other picture a little bit just to see if I can get the color. I should probably turn on my lights. I didn't even think about that. Hold on it. We will get some light for you here. Boom. That looks a little better. <laughs> Remember, this is watercolor, so we don't have to... Um, get our coloring absolutely perfect. We just want to get some of this down on the paper. It will move around. Hopefully with our water. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring in a little bit of Crimson Red, which is A078. And put a little of that in there too. a little more of the orange in here blood orange maybe I will bring in a bit of regular orange too uh, we'll get some beryllium here that in the handle and around this edge over here we'll add in some yellow for highlights on this side can add a little more in here too Okay, then we're going to throw in some brown. This one is hazelnut brown. This is a new color. Oh, I have a whole egg there I missed. Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> do, 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 There we go. <laughs> okay, we'll throw a little of that brown there. Give it some shadow. Okay. And we will see some water here. This is a Arteza water brush. I believe this came with the watercolor set that they uh, carry. We're just going to use a little of this and kind of go around the edge. It has a little bit of water coming through. I just tested it, so it'll activate these colors nicely. Just like with any water medium, if you don't want a muddy look, you want to wipe some of this off when you get into a different color. So the dark brown, you can mix it in with the red, but if you want to go into the yellow, you want to make sure 
you wipe your brush off so the yellow doesn't get all muddy in there. Or you can just start with the yellow and bring it around. Okay, we're going to go in here, activate all this. Kind of get the color down towards the red. So it'll stay red down there. The lighter color. Where I want the lighter color. <laughs> oh, he's coming along nicely. Okay. I'm hoping you can see all that. I let the camera up high for you to see everything. Here we go. And then we'll do this portion down here. Okay, and I think his little tentacles here are done in the yellow, which we can just add in there. And if you want any other color in here, you can just put it right on top. Since these colors uh, match really nicely with the um, colored pencil set, you can also use that as a nice highlighting tool too. Just take your pencils and color them with that. Just gonna blend that in a little bit better. We'll wait for that to dry and we'll be right back. Okay, that's mostly dry. I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. I pulled out the um, matching pencil to go with the um, watercolor one. The regular colored pencils are round and these are the octagonal ones. So I just pulled out the matching color to the watercolor. So we're going to just use those as regular colored pencils and go over some lines and color them up a little bit and get them a little darker. So we're going to go in with the, let's see, the blood orange first. Darken that up a little bit. Always a fun thing when you have two sets of um, pencils that are the exact same colors. So you can go in and use the exact color to 
go over the work and give it some dimension. Both of the 72 sets are the same also, so if you have those, you can do the same thing. You don't need to run out and buy this one yet. <laughs> And like little places where you couldn't get your water brush, you can get into with these. They blend really nicely over the watercolor. bring in some of the yellow, which is the lemon. Okay, we're going to bring in the brown. The um, looking glass should be a little darker, so we're going to add in the hazelnut. It's called hazelnut brown. Just darken it up a bit. I'm going to go over the yellow a little to give us a nice lighter color. Down here a little bit more. Darken this up. Just add a little bit of the yellow in there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We're going to add some um, little white on our little guys. Little spots here.
And we'll throw a couple bubbles out here. See those? And then I will get out some distress ink and we're going to add um, some water around here. Hold on one second. Okay, the distress ink I'm going to use is um, Broca China. It's the one I use all, all the time. Um, maybe I'll use one of the uh, little tools that I got. So if we'll get one of these fluffy little things, we'll test it to make sure I'm not going to put too much on the book. And then we will add in a little blue water in here. go. Got a little blue water going. Since we have that, we can bring these um, little water bubbles that I just turned blue out in here and out over here. I'm going to go over that line a little. It doesn't look too bad. Um, here's the front cover and what we did with the pencils. <laughs> I'll kind of leave the side by side at the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching and if you're interested in the 120 set of Arteza watercolor pencils, I will leave a link down below to Arteza's shop where they're located and I will check and see if I can give you a link also from them on Amazon. They will be down in the description box below along with the colors uh, I used to do this little guy here. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video. Bye now. Take care.